Okay, so it says that given a random permutation of the integers in the set 1 through 5, let x equal the number of integers that are in the natural position. And they give you this MGF. And this is to find the mean variance in of x. So let's find the mean variance of x. So find the mean, we know that the mean, the mean, to find the mean of a function, you find the first derivative. And that will be 0 plus 45. Uh -oh. Let me just do it somewhere else instead. Alright, that will be the um, first derivative of t. 44 over 120 will be 0 because when you derive a number, it goes to 0. Then you would have 45 over 120 times e to the power of t plus 40 over 120 times e to t plus 30 over 120 e to the power of 3t plus 5 over 120 e to the power of 5t mm -hmm. 5t okay so now we need to make that equal to we need to find the power the first derivative at t equals zero. So m zero would be forty five one twenty plus forty one twenty plus thirty over one twenty plus five over 120 and that would equal to 1 because 45 plus 5 is 50 plus 30 is 80 80 plus 40 is 120 so I go to 1 now we need to find to, find, to get the variance we need to find the second derivative so the second derivative of t Again, now we would find, using the first derivative, we have to find the second derivative now. That will be 45 over 120 t e power of c plus 80 over 120 e power of 2t. Uh, 2t, not 1t, 2t. plus 90 over 120 e power of 3t come on plus 25 120 e power of 5t and again, we we'll make it of the of a zero. Now we get forty five over one twenty plus eighty over one twenty plus ninety over one twenty plus twenty five over one twenty. Now that will equal to two forty, which equals to two. Now. It says, find the probability that at least one integer is in its natural position. So basically, the probability that x is greater or equal to 1. Well, we know that we have 5, or we have 5 of them here. We have 5 integers. 
So it would be better to find the probability that to find one minus the probability that none of them is in their natural position. That would be one minus the probability that x is less than one. Which would be one minus the probability of f of zero. Why f of zero? Because later when when I when I when I show you the PMF, you will see that when x is equal to zero f of 0 equals to something. So, that would be 1 minus, which one now, well, because we know that x is equal to 0, 1 to 5, because, why? Because e to the power of t is where x equals to 1. e to t, that's x equals to 2, and e 3 t is x equals to 3. One of them doesn't have any t, that's because here x is equal to 0. So the only number or the only e number here that has no e or no number at all, which is the e to the power of some x t, is 44 over 120. So that will be 1 minus 44 over 120. And that would equal to 19 over 30. Now, let's, just in case, let us write the, uh, oh, variance, my bad, variance, we forgot the variance. The variance is the second derivative, which is 2, minus the first derivative squared. I almost forgot about that part right here. So, minus 1 squared, which is equal to 1. So, it's equal to 1. This is the variance. Now, let's write the PMF now. PMF. Remember, we have five things here, so it's going to be a big one. Now, how do you write the PMF? We have... Uh, let me actually put it here instead. I'm going to put it down. PMF, big one. Let's see now. When x equals to zero, what is what is x? When, what is the PMF when x equals to zero? It's forty-four over twenty over one twenty. So, forty-four over one twenty is when x equals to zero because when x equals to zero. You have 44 over 120 e to the power of 0 t. We know that e to the power of 0 is 1, so that will equal to 44 over 120. Great. Now, x equals to 1, we have 45 over 120. That's when x equals to 1. Why? Because it shows right here. It's 45 over 120 e to the power of 1 t. When x equals to 2, you have 20 over 120. That's x equals to 2. Then you have 10 over 120 when x equals to 3. Then you have 0 when x equals to 4. And then you have 1 over 120 when x equals to 5. Why 0 for 4 is because you have 1, you have 44 over 120, you have 45 over 120, so you have 0, 1, 2, 3, but for the fourth one, there is no number for it. So it's like, after you, you, you go to 1, to 10 over 120, e to the power of 3t, you get plus 0, plus 1 over 120, e to the power of 5t. But we don't need to write the 0, so we just don't write the 0. So that's what actually it is. And this is why when you, you need to do the PMF sometimes to understand why such number is what it is. So, guys, this is what the, um, this is actually the, uh, the, the basic idea behind this example. I hope you guys understood it because you will find a lot of, a lot of MGF 
uh, moment generating function and you will have to remember how to find the mean and reverence and how to write the PMF of it. Now the last part which is part, part C that part, uh, the histogram I will not show it to you because um, you can do that because that one is kind of really easy to do you can find a way to find that or you know what to do for to, to draw a graph of a function so I hope you guys understand how to find the mean and variance and uh, and to have the PMF of it and if you guys understand that's good if you like it thumbs up if you don't thumbs down uh, but other than that that's probably it for today so I hope you enjoyed I hope you are and I hope you understood it and thank you for watching my video